I have been in a hit and run before, but never like, it was never road rage. Right. For Tristan Grissinger, and that was until that, last Tuesday oh, afternoon yeah. when he oh, says he was driving on I-80 near Bangator Highway. I seen a white truck behind me and he was tailgating me really hard. Merging over into lane number two, he hit me in the back. And then when I was in lane number two, he hit me in the back again. And then I was going to get over into lane number three and he sideswiped me. Grissinger says he pulled over and called police. I just scared the whole entire time. Not not really sure what to do. The damage to his work truck was pretty extensive. Hit right here once and then my car bounced, bounced away a little and then he hit the driver's side door next. And that totally, uh, totally messed up the whole the whole driver door. The Utah Department of Public Safety says they saw an 11% increase in aggressive road rage related crashes from 2022 to 2023 statewide. A bill introduced ahead of the upcoming legislative session is looking to crack down on road rage here in the Beehive State. Centerville Representative Paul Cutler is sponsoring that bill, which would define what road rage is and give officers and prosecutors some additional tools to go after those who are what he says the most egregious offenders. If, there are, if the officers wanted to charge a Class B reckless driving, but they could show that there was uh, intent to escalate and intimidate the other driver, then they could make that a Class A offense, which carries a larger fine and uh, uh, potentially some additional penalties. Representative Cutler says if a perpetrator is found guilty of road rage multiple times, this legislation would allow a judge to take away the person's driver's license faster. It would also allow troopers to impound a vehicle in certain road rage incidents. After first introducing the bill in November of last year, Representative Cutler says a few tweaks have been made. So the Department of Public Safety has, has just announced that they're launching a road rage campaign. We're going to make an effort to take the money that will be collected from extra fines for these uh, additional enhanced uh, penalties and put that towards an additional education effort. The hope being? I think it's important that we, uh, that we do what we can to improve safety for pedestrians, for drivers, for everyone. On the Hill, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.